What's up mga kap and welcome to When in Halifax. On this video, I'm going to discuss about the four common, four common reasons why your application is denied or delayed. So if you're ready, let's begin. So ayan mga kap, on this video, pag-uusapan natin ang apat na reasons or common reasons why your application is delayed or denied. The first one is forgetting to sign the application form. So this is the first common mistakes or common reasons na nagkakaroon ng delayed and nagkakaroon ng rason para i-deny ang iyong application. Ang makalimutan mong permahan so ang iyong application. So if you are a DIY, most especially if you are DIY, always double check, triple check your application form kung ito ay napermahan mo or hindi. My best suggestion for you is buy a sticky note. A sticky note says you need to sign here. You can buy it in um, National Bookstore in the Philippines. So kung merong signature, hindi ka patapos, put a sticky notes on the side of the paper at least now you know that this application form ay kailangan mong permahan so again mga kap always remember to double check your application kung ito ay napermahan mo na or hindi pa so the first tip is put a sticky note na nakalagay sign here the second tip para hindi mo makalimutan na permahan is ask someone to double check. Maybe your spouse, maybe your friend, maybe your your sister na medyo keen with application form. So again mga kap, don't forget to sign your application. The second reason is not paying the application fee or maybe wrong fee. Mali yung nabayaran mo. So always remember mga kap, ang payment for student, for express entry, is different. So every path, uh, pathway or program, they have their own application fee. So always remember to double check kung tama ba yung binabayaran mong application fee. So that's the number one that you need to remember in terms of payment. Another common reasons na nagkakaroon ng delay in terms of payment is hindi pumapasok yung iyong credit card. Most especially to all our caps in the Philippines po, majority of the credit card are hindi po tumatanggap ng international transaction. So ayan, it's always, um, always remember mga cap that you need to make sure na pumasok yung transaction nyo. So there are two ways to verify. The number one is Call your bank and make sure that your credit card na hinahawakan mo ngayon ay merong international transaction. Kung wala, ask them how to have an international transaction. The second, kung nakabayad ka naman, is you can call the bank and verify if pumasok yung payment or transaction. That's my tip in terms of paying a application fee using your credit card. So the third the third common the third common reasons na nagkakaroon ng delayed and refusal is the photos po. Ayan, sa photos po. So the photo there's a specific requirements, there's a specific description measurements na required pag submit mo ng application. So number 1 is this one. You need to follow this guide and then at the same time I'm going to post this instruction, the full instruction in the comment section or in the description below. Just click the link and it will go to the Canada.ca. So the common mistake is number one is there is shadow or there is uh, you are using your sunglasses or maybe you're smiling. So all this is specific instruction will be posted on the link on the description below. Just click the link. So what I want you to remember is there is a specific instruction and requirements for the photo requirement. Sa mga photo po na kailangan mong isubmit ay hindi lang basta photo na tubay itong kinuha mo ka saan. Dapat po yung photo ilalagay mo sa inyong application ay nag-comply or sumunod sa photo requirement ng Canada Immigration. That's what I want you to remember. And all the instructions and information and requirements, you will find the link 
on the description below. So if nakoconfuse ka kung ano yung tamang dapat gawin, I'm going to put a video about the photo instructions, a separate video about it. So if you're interested, comment it below. And the last one, the fourth common, common reasons of delayed and refusal is not providing a supporting documents. For example of this is, for example, you are married, pero hindi ka naman nakapag-provide ng marriage certificate. Or maybe uh, job work experience, pero you are, not you are not able to provide a work experience or certificate of employment. So these are the common mistakes of or common reasons na nadidelayed o nare-refuse ang yung application. Hindi ka nakapag-provide ng supporting documents. So that's are the common uh, that's a common reasons na nang delay and refusal. So I'm mentioning this to you, I'm explaining this to you para po maiwasan mo at hindi magkaroon ng rason na ma-delay ang inyong application or ma-refuse ang inyong application. So I hope I'm able to help you with your Canadian dreams. If you find it helpful, please click the subscribe button and follow me on my social media. It's when in Halifax on Facebook and Instagram. And every Saturday, 11 a.m., we have a Q&A live streaming kasama si Miss Amelia Ajok of Ajok International kung saan meron kaming Q&A question and answer. So if you have confusion, maybe you want to learn more about photo requirements or supporting documents or maybe you want to learn more about anything about immigration, student, AIPP caregiver, Join us every Saturday, 11 a.m. Join our Pinoy Kanda Immigration Forum by clicking the link on the description below. Follow also our family blog at Cap Family. Ayan. So if you want to get updates about Halifax, Nova Scotia, and you want to explore, you want to join our family to explore the Halifax or Canada, follow me or subscribe to our The Cap Family. I'll put the link on the description below. See you guys and signing out. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.